Interesting facts about famous people. Ten rodeo western movies with a rodeo theme. A dangerous sport, rodeo requires courage, skill, and stamina. The very real risks and adventure make the rodeo genre a great storyline. The ten rodeo movies in this video tell stories of winning and losing, all too familiar in rodeo. The Rider Chloe Zhao directed and wrote this cinematic offering, starring real life rodeo riders and the occupants from a South Dakota reservation, based on the life of Brady Blackburn, starring Brady Jean Drew, after a life altering rodeo accident that forced him to quit. The film won awards at Sundance, Cannes and New York Film Festival. Some likened it to a documentary for its real portrayal of rodeo, revealing life on a ranch, their equipment, homes, even relationships. Realistic portrayals provide the audience with an authentic experience, triumphs and the trials that come with this profession. Lighting and cinematography set the mood for a provoking narrative, showing human spirit against adversity. 8 Seconds Based on a true story, it chronicles the life of Lane Frost, one of the youngest national rodeo champions. Aside from his trials as he reached the top of the rodeo circuit, his quest for his father's approval is also revealed. His obsession with trying to please his father almost destroyed his marriage. This film navigates the challenges between a husband and a wife while fulfilling a lifelong dream. Directed by John Avildsen, Impressive imagery of radio scenes, Lane Frost, played by Luke Perry, was a convincing choice as they share similar features. The film tackled a unique perspective on marriage that made it stand out from the usual relationship dramas. Also starring Stephen Baldwin, James Rebhorn. Junior Bonner. This list of radio movies wouldn't be complete without Junior Bonner. Steve McQueen as Junior Bonner a middle-aged rodeo rider returning to his hometown in Arizona. His father and brother have their dreams. Junior is set on defeating a bull called Sunshine. If he can ride the bull for eight seconds, he could revive his failing career. A reoccurring theme in this movie is how older rodeo riders deal with the younger competition. Director Sam Peckingpah captured the ambience and mood of the rodeo circuit perfectly. Western regulars Dub Taylor Bill McKinney and Donald Barry have great performances. Less violence compared to other Peking Poor films, but the rodeo thrill pretty much made up for it. The director's patented slow motion shots provided an exceptional experience for the audience. Walk, Ride, Rodeo. The true story of Amber Lee Snyder, a 19-year-old nationally ranked barrel racer who suffered paralysis from the waist down due to a car accident, determined to return to the sport she loves, began grueling physical therapy. Her family's love and support allowed her to gain the courage and strength to beat the odds. This emotional and compelling film shows what it takes to overcome adversity. This film is excellent for families, horse lovers or just people who need inspiration in life. The theme may not be original, still, its director, Connor Alin, made it an enjoyable and heartwarming story. Amberly Snyder performed all the stunts for scenes after the accident, while her sister did all the action scenes before the accident. Stars Spencer Locke, Missy Pyle, Bailey Chase. When the Legends Die This classic film narrates the story of Tom Black Fool, a young Native American played by Frederick Forrest. He may be unsociable and uneducated, but he has strong potential. An aging rodeo cowboy, Red Dillon, Richard Widmark, takes Tom under his wing after seeing him bucking a horse. Dillon teaches Tom everything he knows about being an exceptional rodeo rider. Tom honed his craft and won several championships. When the money starts coming in, problems set in and their relationship suffers under pressure. The film highlighted American Indian culture, also showcasing rodeo life, a new take on the Cowboys and Indians theme that Western movie fans like. Director, Stuart Miller. Stars, Richard Widmark, 
Frederick Forrest, Luana Anders. My heroes have always been cowboys. This western gem about H.D. Holton, Scott Glenn, a bull rider returning to his hometown after a rodeo injury. Returning to his old life was more challenging when he found out that the family ranch was slipping away from their fingers. Becoming more complicated as the story progresses, he navigates a relationship with an ex-girlfriend, Kate Capshaw, and her father, Ben Johnson. Ben Johnson's performance as an aging father with dementia is impressive. Johnson's experience as a real-life rodeo rider gave his character depth and credibility. The director gave a unique perspective to this story. Some say that the film ended abruptly, leaving some plot lines open to interpretation. There may be questions left unanswered, but this movie showed it has heart and soul. Director, Stuart Rosenberg. Stars, Scott Glenn, Cape Capshaw, Ben Johnson. J.W. Coop, played by Cliff Robertson, an ex-con cowboy who had to adjust to the changes in the radio circuit when released from jail. After nine years of his life in prison, eager to return to being a professional rodeo cowboy, his journey to regain his former glory wasn't easy. He had a hard time, not only with the changes in the radio circuit, but also society as a whole. The film includes a cameo from Larry Mahan, a rodeo cowboy legend. Many believe that this western is one of Cliff Robertson's best movies. His acting and directing gave justice to the storyline, providing an honest and realistic approach to the challenges of the determined ex-convict trying to rejoin the world. Cowboy Up explores the complicated relationship between two brothers vying for one woman's attention. Kiefer Sutherland plays Hank, a rodeo clown and bull breeder. His brother Eli, portrayed by Marcus Thomas, is a headstrong rodeo rider recovering from a serious injury. Sibling rivalry grows when Celia, a rodeo sweetheart, gets between them. The story becomes more complex when they're haunted by memories of their absent father, a famous bull rider. The film received glowing reviews from viewers despite modest ratings. The long shots and close-ups allowed viewers a front row seat to the world of rodeo. The supporting actors gave exceptional performances and justice to the film's contemporary twist. Some believe this film deserved more accolades as it perfectly sums up rodeo enthusiasts' love for the sport. Director, Xavier Collar. Stars, Keith Sutherland, Marcus Thomas, Daryl Hannah. The Longest Ride. This drama revolves around the relationship between bull riding champion Luke, Scott Eastwood, and college student Sophia, Britt Robinson. When they take different career paths, Luke's return to the rodeo circuit and Sophia about to start her dream job in New York. Their relationship is threatened. They find inspiration from Ira, played by Alan Alder. They learn valuable lessons on love and life from a man whose relationship with his wife withstood many challenges over the years. This film took relatively unknown actors such as Robinson and Eastwood. However, these two have believable chemistry. Eastwood played his part well as a hero with a heart. The director captured the postcard perfect setting and the glamorous life of rodeo riders. Director George Tillman Jr. Stars Scott Eastwood, Britt Robinson, Alan Alder. Rodeo movies are about adventure, redemption. While appealing more to the Western fan, all viewers find the message of overcoming hardship and challenges inspirational. I appreciate some of these movies are not strictly rodeo movies, rather use the genre in some way. A little license taken here. If you'd like to see some of my many other videos, please check the link in the description to go to my channel. Thanks for your time today. I hope you enjoyed the video. I appreciate likes, shares and subscribers. Drop me your comments. Bye for now.